Bill Clinton is a man who often goes off script but rarely off message. That wasn't the case with some of the Democratic delegates before his speech. They voted to change their party platform to include language supporting Israel. With Jerusalem as its undivided capital, this is what happened next. The matter requires a two-thirds vote in the affirmative. All those delegates in favor say aye. All those delegates opposed say no. In the opinion of the... Let me do that again. All of those delegates in favor say aye. All those delegates opposed say no. I, um, I guess... I'll do that one more time. All those delegates in favor say aye. All those delegates opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds have voted in the affirmative. The motion is adopted. And the platform has been amended, as shown on the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Patty Culhane has more from the convention. At these U.S. political conventions, every moment, every picture, every speech is scripted. It is all written out weeks, months in advance. Democrats, though, had a controversy that they didn't expect, and it all boiled down to the party's support for Israel. Since 1988, the Democratic Party, in its platform, basically what the party stands for, has had a line in there saying that they support Jerusalem as the undivided capital of Israel, allowing access to people of all faiths. That wasn't in the platform this time. Well, it became very controversial. A senior campaign official tells me President Barack Obama himself got involved to get that amendment put back in. They obviously thought, the party officials, that it would go over. They tried to take a voice vote. They had to do it three times because the yays and nays seemed evenly split. Finally, the man running the meeting just said it's now part of the platform, and he was booed. Analysts say this could show that there is even the slightest shift from the Democratic Party base against overwhelming support for Israel. Uh, the party officials, though, say nothing will change when it comes to the U.S.'s unwavering support of its ally in the Middle East.